Now, Professor Charles Eastman is credited to be the first to perform open heart surgery in Ghana in 1964. 58 years later, Dr. Penelope Adinku qualified to be the first female cardiothoracic surgeon in Ghana. Many women drop out of cardiothoracic surgery specialization because it is difficult managing their matrimonial homes, raise their children, and combined with a time-consuming career. Jojo Kobina of our Gender Desk witnessed Dr. Penelope Adinku and a team perform her first case. Dr. Penelope Adinku, this morning my team and I are operating on six-year-old Elham Al Hassan. Um, she has pentalogy of Fallot. And um, as a result of this condition, she has poorly oxygenated blood circulating through her body. So as a result of this condition, she gets tired very often. So you see her squatting frequently and she cannot keep up at play with her peers. So join me in theater, my team and I. For the next four hours, Dr. Penelope Adinko and her team will be on a mission to repair the heart of a six-year-old girl who had been living with heart disease since birth. She scraps and heads to the theater. The journey to repair the heart begins with anesthesia. The girl is put to sleep. Then, a prayer. Later, a careful incision in the breast bone to expose the tiny heart. The complexity of the case requires experienced hands, so the head of the National Cardiothoracic Center, Dr. Lawrence ajiman joins the team. To work on the girl's heart, blood is run outside her body and cooled through a cardiopulmonary bypass pump, popularly called heart lung machine. The machine pumps blood and oxygen to keep her alive. The heart is then stopped and the actual repair begins with a combination of dexterity application of deep knowledge, sound judgment, the surgeon soaked the pressure and carefully maneuvered the delicate heart. The repair is complete. The moment of truth. We will soon know whether the surgery is successful. Cardiovascular perfusionist stop the heart lung machine. The heart can function and beat on its own. Time to close up the chest. Dr. Dinko talks about how the surgery went. <laughs> she had her first surgery. Um, which improved her condition and she's come back for this surgery which we just completed where we relieved that obstruction we opened up that obstruction to allow blood to now flow to the lungs then we closed the holes in the heart and then we closed the heart back Dr. Adinko goes into Ghana's history books as the first female cardiothoracic surgeon but why has it taken so long for a woman to practice cardiothoracic surgery? And sometimes you have to sleep in the hospital a couple of days in the week. So combining this with family may, may have um, presented a challenge to other women. Well, traditionally women, we take care of their home, the husband, the children. And as career women, we have to um, achieve a balance between our career and taking care of their home. It would take many patients, including women, who are not so used to women being doctors or surgeons. You know, I had a couple of patient relatives walk up to me and then I'm, I'm in my lab coat or I'm in, with a stethoscope and they, they want to find out something relating to their sick relative. And they'll, ask, they'll tell me that they are looking for the doctor. They are looking for a male. They are looking for this tall, you know, male to come answer their questions. So I tell them, I'm, I'm the doctor, so talk to me. <laughs> Dr. Srebo describes Dr. Dinko as very intelligent and focused. Shy. Mm. Quiet. Very focused. 
brilliant girl. The other thing is going to be the end. She has inspired so many people, both males and females. So uh, yesterday I was with, on, a, on Saturday, one of my house officers uh, that uh, we're talking and she's, she's been so inspired that she, she also wants to do cardiothoracic surgery. Many women opt out of surgical training and specialization because combining family and career is intense. But Dr. Dinku raved it. It takes, it however takes hard work, commitment, dedication and perseverance. There are times that they would feel discouraged. There are times that they would question themselves. Will I be able to make it to the finish line? Can I do it? Am I supposed to be here? But I want to tell them that once they believe that God has called them to it, they should keep persevering. I would, I would like to encourage um, spouses to, to encourage us as women to support our dreams, to stand by us. Um, this makes it easier for us to push forward. I would want to thank my husband, Mr. Enes Dadinku, Reverend Enes Dadinku, for his love and his support. He's my number one fan. Truly, a glass ceiling has been shattered and Dr. Adinko is calling on female doctors who wish to specialize in cardiothoracic surgery not to give up. It may be a lonely feeling to be the only woman doing this kind of work, but her achievement opens the door for many more women to enter the room where she is now. Georgia Kobner, Joy News.